Okay, sort of, right. <laughs> then what comes next? Solving these equations that involve fractions. And um, I'll show you how to get over the fraction obstacle and deal with that. So, um, you know, we'll take it in steps. But you're right, you could have divided both sides by 6. And maybe in that case it would have made this slightly faster. But in general, it might make it slightly longer. What if this was 35? Well, exactly. That's true. I, can, I see your strategy. It's not a bad strategy. It's not a bad strategy. It's a good strategy. Okay. Yeah, that's what I would do, too. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's deal with some more examples that involve simplification. What if you had 2x now? Minus 3x plus 4 equals, maybe, negative 8. So what would you have to do again? Simpla what? Simplify. And how do you simplify in this example? Bless you. You guys know? Can you like divide both sides by two or something? No. See? So you're going to simplify this. What did this minus mean? Wasn't that? Yeah, negative one. And then you're going to distribute this negative one, right? Yeah. So you get rid of your parentheses by using that distributive property. 2x, distribute the negative 1. What's negative 1 times 3x? Negative 3x. What's that negative 1 times the positive 4? Negative 4. And that will equal negative 8. We just got rid of the parentheses by using that distributive property here. Okay? You guys okay with that? We use the distributive property. We got rid of the negative. All right, what do you do now? Combine. combine like terms. Can you combine like terms? Okay. Two apples minus three apples. You owe an apple again. Minus four equals negative eight. What do you want to do? Translate your four. Good. Okay, so you get negative x becomes negative eight plus what? plus 4, and I get negative 8 plus 4. Negative x is a negative 4. What does that negative x mean? It's negative 1, yes, times x. Divide both sides by negative 1. Cancel. x is negative 4 divided by a negative 1. Negative divided by negative is? Positive. 4 over 1 is 4. OK, you OK with the simplification here? Yeah. So you see the, the purpose of uh, why you had to use those properties last week was designed to really help you solve um, a little bit more complicated equations that you generally see. And then why do you need to solve equations? Because you need to work with the applications. The applications that exist in all those majors you guys are actually looking to study. Okay, so I'll show you how a lot of it works. What major does not have math? No major. Because you can't transfer without it. Oh, that's true. That's true. Um, it can't. Could you major in running? Sort of. <laughs> Would they make you take math? Yeah, you have to take mathematics. In my personal view, I actually believe <laughs> there's a certain mathematics that everybody needs to know in your life. I don't care who you are, where you're at. You got to know a certain amount. Um, beginning algebra is really 
partly where I think you need to know how to do things. Uh, geometry is another area. I think, yeah, if you know some basics, these ideas were, were ideas that were developed since before Christ. They're ancient. They're pieces of logic that help you think. You know, don't think because you're a human being, you really know how to think about things. I hate to break the news to you. <laughs> part of college, part of the math, you study in geometry, these ancient ideas, ideas that were true before Christ. You know, all these ideas you study are ideas that help you learn how to think about things. And when you learn how to think about stuff, that's actually a benefit for you. It's not a setback. And that's really, I know it sounds horrible because you go, but everybody's born thinking. Well, sort of. Does it mean you're thinking what? The right way. <laughs> the right way. Do you guys know that? What would happen to you if you were out in the middle of the desert all by yourself? What starts to happen to you? You hallucinate. Huh? You go crazy? What do you think? Do you guys know about that? Would you go crazy? Do you know why you'd go crazy? You start thinking? Yeah. <laughs> Too much? I tell you, have, has anybody ever been out in the desert alone by yourself for a little while? Yeah. Maybe just driving even. Am I the only one? <laughs> I got news for you. I drove through like Arizona to LA once. You're driving. And you drive for a period of time where you don't see a human being. You, the effect on me was, and I, you know, you run out of thoughts. You just run out of, what do I think of now? You run out of thoughts. You're driving. You don't see a, another human being for a long time. And you start to get a little worried. There's anxiety. Um, it's, it's true. So human beings, we need really, ironically, we need each other. We need to bounce ideas off each other. And if you really thought about it, what really is the definition of crazy and not crazy? Is there a real definition? How do I know that we don't do certain things? It's only by bouncing this sort of relationship off of people and saying, hey, I guess that's normally not what you do. You guys see what I'm saying? And so, ironically, <laughs> What does this have to do with the math and learning how to think? You use it in your daily life. You do use it in your daily life, but I'm trying to show you guys, look, these are tools that you can apply. These are the tools that make sense. It's showing you how to think. And whether you believe it or not, you do need it. You need to learn how to think about things. You need to bounce these ideas off of people, off of each other. And you will use it in daily life. If you want to major in something like Getting rid of some of the, getting over some of those GE courses like the chemistry that, re, that are required, the biology. If you want to be a forensic, who wants, who's, who's in, watching CSI, right? <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you want to do, you need to know a little bit about logic, a little bit about the algebra, about the word problems, about the, about the things we're talking about. And that's how it works. It's really true in every major. Now, you don't know this, but my, both my parents are, are, um, are artists. They, they actually majored in art. Um, and it, my father got to the point where he had to start to ask me about mathematics, about certain things, because he had to use some of this stuff in his art environment. So it comes back. So even you say, oh, art, there's no, nothing wrong about art. Again, my family, if.